All right, for this video, we're going to look at how to find the ortho center. How to find the ortho center on the coordinate plane. So we have this triangle ABC, and we want to find the ortho center. Now remember, the ortho centers are the altitudes. So we're going to put in parentheses altitudes. This one has to do with the altitudes of each side of the triangle. All right now, so for this one, the first step that we need to do, so step one, is to find the slope of a side. It doesn't matter which side we use. Um, I'm going to start with this side AC. So remember the slope formula is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to use these two points A and C and find the slope. Alright, so that's I'm going to go with negative 3 minus a negative 5. And then we have 6 minus a negative 2, which is going to give us a negative 3 plus 5, and a 6 plus 2, so that's going to give us 2 over 8. All right, and that's going to equal 1 fourth. Now, the altitude has to come down straight from point B. It's got to come straight down to um, intersect with side AC at a 90 degree angle. So to do that, what we really need is we need the perpendicular slope, which is going to be the opposite reciprocal of 1 over 4. So that's going to give me a negative 4 over 1, which is just a negative 4. All right, so then that tells me if I go from B, I would need to go down 4 and right 1. All right, so down 4, right 1, and I go ahead and intersect or I connect those two lines, those two dots. Okay, and that crosses at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so step one is find the slope, and then that also meant kind of a, a sub-step was to find the opposite reciprocal. Okay, now from this I want to find the equation because we're going to have to see where the altitudes intersect. So since I got the slope, and I can pick a point. I can either use this point B or this new point that I got when I used the slope. And I want to substitute this into the point slope form. And my equation is y equals m times x minus h plus k. Now for this we got our slope, our perpendicular slope, so I'm going to need to use this negative 4. So y equals a negative 4, x minus, I'm going to use my b, so that was a 0 for h, and then for k that's going to be 3. All right, if I distribute, it gives me y is equal to negative 4x, negative 4 times a negative 0, that's just going to be, zero, so I don't need to worry about that. So my first equation, y equals four, negative 4x four plus 3. Okay. Now we need to repeat this process for one of these other two sides. Okay. I'm going to use this side, bc. So I need to figure out what that slope is. So let's go ahead and make some thing. So um, uh, the next step is actually to repeat steps one and two. 
for another side. All right, so um, since we use side AC for this one, this time I'm going to use side BC, like I said. And I'm going to, so let's find the slope of side BC. So we're going to get um, negative 3 minus 3 over 6 minus 0. Gives me negative 6 over 6. So this slope is actually a negative 1. Now remember, yes, I want this slope, but then I want it to go perpendicular to side BC. So we need to do the opposite reciprocal. So this perpendicular slope is going to be actually a positive 1. All right, so if I'm using this, then that from A, because I want to go to the opposite side, from A I'm going to go up 1 over 1 here. Now I can draw this. Remember that is 90 degrees. Now this point right here is my ortho center. Now if you look closely, it doesn't quite fall at 1, negative 2. It's off a little bit, so we have to find out where that intersects. So we need to keep going. Um, so now we found the slope. That means we need to use the point slope formula. Using our new slope, and either of these points, either A or this point that we drew here, so Y equals 1. I'm going to use point A, so it's going to give me X minus a negative 2 minus 5. So I'm going to distribute y equals x plus 2 minus 5. So this equation comes out to y equals x minus 3. All right. So the last step, step 4, is to find the orthocenter. And now this case, this place or this particular step actually means really I want to find the intersection of the two equations that we came up with. So the first equation we had y equals a negative four x plus three. And the second equation was y equals x minus 3. All right, now we could do this like we did with the, um, the centroid, where we solve this using the system of equations where we multiplied by a negative 1 on this bottom equation, found x, and then substituted back into one of these two to get y. But actually what I'm going to do on this one, instead of doing that, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on the calculator. So um, I'm going to turn this on. Of course, go to y equals. And I'm going to put these two equations in. So it's going to give me negative 4x plus 3 for the first one. The second one, we're going to do y equals x minus 3. All right. Then what we want to do is we want to go to calculate that little right above trace it says calc so we want to hit second calc or trace and we want to go down to the fifth one that says intersect because we want to see where these two equations are going to intersect so you can hit five or you can go down to five and then press enter right, and that's going to go ahead and graph the two lines for you 
and then it'll ask you for this first equation. So just hit enter, enter, and then hit it a third time, and it gives you the intersection. So from our calculator, we got 1.2 for my x value and a negative 1.8 for my y value. Okay, so that is my orthocenter. The ortho sensor was 1.2, negative 1.8. Okay, so again, if I go back over here to the graph, the original graph, this point right here is 1.2, negative 1.8. Okay, that's our ortho center. 